Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will solve some planning questions for paper 6 physics. These questions are uh, specifically for 2024. Let's start. Okay, so a student sets up the flexible track at the edge of a bench as you can see here. This is a flexible track. The student investigates a metal ball, this ball, as it rolls down the track and travels through the air. The metal ball travels a horizontal distance d, this one, and lands in a tray of sand placed on the floor. Plan an experiment to investigate how one variable is going to affect the size of the distance d. You have to find out how one variable is going to either increase or decrease the distance. The apparatus available includes a flexible track, this clamp boss and stand, and a selection of metal balls. All right. State one variable you choose to investigate. So we have to identify the independent variable. There are so many variables. For example, we can choose the size of the metal ball. We can choose um, the height of this uh, stand. There are so many ways. So uh, for the independent variable, let's uh, decide that the size of the metal ball. So our dependent variable is going to be D. Next, list any additional apparatus needed to measure this variable. So, of course, we are going to need to measure the independent variable. We're going to need a digital balance. And for the, for the distance, we're going to need a meter rule. Explain how to do the experiment, state the key variables, and uh, so on. Let's start. So, the first step would be set up the ex uh, experiment as shown in the diagram. Next, we'll measure the mass of the ball so, uh, to know the size. using a digital balance so this is the additional apparatus okay uh, and then you are going to place your ball in the edge of the track and then release it now you're going to measure your dependent variable so using a meter rule measure d uh, remember this meter rule is also an additional apparatus because it is not given here D is the horizontal distance ball has traveled through air. Now you're going to repeat this experiment five times. Uh, but when you're repeating, so we need to have some um, control variables, okay? So we'll have with the same type of ball or material. The height at which the, this track is attached to the stand should be same. Also the length of the track. Also the point at which the ball is released. Now um, how, how will you know that uh, the, the point at which ball is released is same? So to do that when you place the ball on the top edge of the track mark it with the marker and then you're going to release it mark that point of release with the marker why so that the next time when you're going to release the ball you release from the same position then you're going to record the distance record values in this table because they have asked you to draw a table as well remember in the table the independent variable comes first so you're changing the mass of the ball in grams and then distance horizontal distance d put a slash to write your um, unit next part is Explain how to use the readings to reach a conclusion. Two ways. Either plot a graph. So plot a graph where you will have y on y axis, you're going to have the dependent variable, which is horizontal distance. And on x axis is always the independent variable, which is the mass of ball in grams. Another way is to uh, compare the readings in the table. How does the distance, horizontal distance change with the increase or decrease with the change in mass? So 
so this is the planning and if you want you can read this marking scheme as well now we can move on to the next question a student investigates the speed of a small trolley moving down a sloping ramp plan an experiment which will enable her to compare the effect of different angles of slope on the average speed of trolley between points on the uh, on the map on the ramp so your independent variable is what you are changing is the angle of the slope and the dependent variable is the average speed uh, the apparatus available includes a long ramp with a support that enables it to be held at different angles so something like this and then you can change these angles and you also have a small trolley which is held on the top now you have to uh, list any additional apparatus needed explain briefly how to do the experiment and suggest a point of accuracy and then um, key variables identify the key variables draw a table and explain how to use the reading we'll go through this as we answer the planning question now this said you may uh, draw a diagram if it helps to explain your answer all right uh, so this is the diagram the trolley is held on a ramp and um, to measure your independent variable which is the angle theta you're going to use a protractor now what is the independent dependent variable it is the average speed how will you calculate the speed speed is the distance traveled by time so you need to know you will mark two points a and b and measure the, this length this is going to be the distance traveled and to find the time you will uh, release the trolley from this point and measure the time taken using a stop clock to travel through this distance. So the first step is set up the apparatus as shown in the figure. When you have a, di a diagram, you can uh, always have this as a first step. Then uh, measure the angle theta. This is the angle between slope and surface using a protractor. Um, they asked us to mention all the additional apparatus, right? So you, it's also good, uh, if you want, you can also um, mention all the apparatus in the beginning of the question. Next, uh, you're going to use a meter rule. This is another additional apparatus to measure the length between point A and point B. This is going to be the distance traveled by the trolley. Then you're going to release trolley from point A using a stop clock. This is another additional apparatus. Measure the time taken for the trolley to travel from A to B. Now you're going to calculate speed, which is the uh, which is D, distance between A and B, and time, which is time taken. Now you're going to repeat the experiment with five different angles. If you want, you can also add this um, part before this, that you're going to repeat the experiment for this particular angle three times and find the average value of speed. This is going to give you a very accurate value. And then, you, and then you're going to repeat this, enti this entire experiment five times uh, with different angles. Now, when you're repeating the experiment, you need to have some control variables, right? So the control variable for us would be distance between A and B. Why? Because um, you want to know the speed and you are changing the time. So the third one has to be same. To find the relationship between two uh, variables, the third variable has to be same. So the sources of inaccuracy. First one could be that the ramp surface is not smooth. There could be bumps on the surface and that is going to increase the time. Secondly, it could be difficult to measure the exact time at which the trolley is released or at which, at which the trolley um, po uh, reaches point B. Next, you're going to record your values in the table. So you'll have the distance traveled, which is the distance between A to B, and then uh, the angle theta, the independent variable, time per second you will calculate your speed now to form your conclusion there are two ways a you can plot a graph where on the y-axis you will have the dependent variable which is speed now whenever you are you are mentioning about graphs you have to say what is on the what is on each of these axes so on the x-axis we have the independent variable which is angle theta now uh, compare your readings or you can also compare your readings that means you will say in the in the table how is the speed changing how is the speed changing when you are changing your angle so you can also refer to this marking scheme if you want